Hello, this is Candy from eyes to jesusblogspotcom and today I thought I would do just kind of a more simple laid-back video and show you my EDC or everyday carry aka my purse. So this is just going to be a basic what's in my purse video. This is my current purse and this is actually the smallest purse I've had in about 15 years. Um, I do carry a lot in my purse. My purses do tend to be heavy but with the proper organization and the proper uh, pockets and dimensions of a purse you can fit a lot into a small purse. So, my favorite color is red, so that makes this purse nice. I like the buckle here. And what I really like about this purse is while it's small, we have got a lot of pockets. We've got this front zipper pocket. We got these two main zipper pockets. We got two pockets in the back. And then we also have a couple of uh, pockets inside one of the zipper pockets and a smaller security pocket inside one of the other zipper pockets. So to begin, we come to the back of my purse and I have two pens that if one runs out of the ink I got the other and I've got gospel tracts because we need to always be ready to spread the word of God I got a miniature composition book you can see the wear and tear in it uh, it gets used fairly often And then I also have some dental floss. And then in the next pocket, I got here a Bible. This is both Old and New Testament Bible. And I like using small Bibles with the zipper enclosure to protect the pages in the Bible. So yes, this is both Old and New Testament, and it does get used quite often. I don't mind the small print. So that's all for the two back pockets. So when I flip my purse around. We come to the front zipper pocket and just hanging right here I just keep safety pins because you never know if you're gonna have a wardrobe malfunction or you're gonna need a safety pin for something. And inside here I got some lipstick and I got my Kershaw knife. And I got a, <laughs> kind of a dirty, uh, forgotten about contact lens case. I've only used this maybe once or twice in the past 15 years. I should probably clean it, but you never know. And I got a little container of acetaminophen. And I got a container of a mixture of uh, aspirin and ibuprofen. And I got a little container of pink Himalayan sea salt. Then I got some paracord. Then another little container of uh, Benadryl. A lighter. And another fire starter. And that's all for this front zipper pocket. So now we enter the main pockets. So the top main front zipper pocket got a tin of Altoids and I specifically I don't really like these I get these for two reasons one medicinal if you get the peppermint Altoids they settle upset stomachs okay so yeah it's great that it freshens your breath I don't like the flavor but it, the peppermint is so strong curiously strong it does settle upset stomachs but also the tin uh, has many other uses. Uh, you can make it into a miniature first aid kit when it's empty. Uh, you could poke a hole in it and use it to uh, make char cloth if you need it. Uh, you can keep uh, a little fishing kit or sewing kit in there. So when you run out of Altoids in your tin, uh, keep the tin because it has all sorts of uses. And I've got waterproof sunscreen and this gets used a lot so I just always keep it in my purse. We got my mag light flashlight. Pinhole glasses. Um, 
I'm nearsighted, my husband is a bit farsighted, pinhole glasses work for either one. Uh, they kind of look like sunglasses, but you can see the holes up close. Uh, they do correct both nearsighted and farsighted vision. So if I were to lose a contact lens, or if my husband needs to do some reading and he doesn't have his reading glasses with him, these do work. Now, being the bookworm that I am, I of course have to have books with me, so I keep the Trapper's Bible. And pocket guide to wild, edible, and medicinal plants. And it's always good to have an emergency blanket with you. This could be for collecting water, reflecting sunlight, making a water distillery, making shelter, or to be used as a blanket. It can even be used as a mini tarp. Uh, I got, this is getting a bit beat up, I got some chewing gum. Um, we're not gum chewers. But, uh, you know, if you get something stuck in your teeth or you need a bit of sugar, here you go. And then I have a little bottle of uh, contact lens disinfectant for my contact lens case. That's all that's in this main pocket. Now there's two smaller pockets on the inside. So inside one of the smaller pockets, I keep, my purse is getting floppy. I keep a bandana, and in the bandana I just got various band-aids of different sizes, regular band-aids, butterfly band-aids, um, gauze, stuff like that. And then the bandana, well, I head cover, so this is an extra head covering, but bandanas have all sorts of other uses, <coughs> excuse me, other uses as well, so I always like to have a bandana with me. And then inside the other small pocket in here, hand sanitizer, which does get used regularly. Lip balm, haven't used it once, had it for a while, but I got it if I need it. And my very loved and beat up Swiss Army knife that's got paint all over it. All right, and this comes in handy quite often for the scissors in there, uh, the little magnifying glass inside. Uh, it's got various screwdrivers, all sorts of nice, neat little tools. And so this part of the purse is empty. So move to the second main zipper pocket and of course we got uh, my wallet and my cell phone sunglasses feminine products you don't need to see that and this mirror this mirror is kind of um getting passed down through the family um, my husband's mother gave it to me. My daughter will get it. Um, it's got a magnified side and uh, just a regular side. It's really cute. And it comes in handy. And that's all for that pocket. Uh, so that's all we got left is the inner zipper pocket. And of course in the inner zipper pocket, first thing I'm going to find are my keys. Lotion couple of ponytail holders, couple of barrettes, eyeliner, and that's it. So, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that can be fit into a tiny purse. Uh, this purse isn't much bigger than my Bible. Of course, it's thicker, but otherwise it's not really much bigger than my Bible, yet it's able to hold all of that stuff.